Ahoy ahoy and uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, if this is your uh, first time watching one of my videos, well, welcome and hope you enjoy this day. Take, check out my other videos and uh, give them a like and a subscribe. We're going to be having quite a few of these videos in the following weeks or so. <laughs> uh, today we're going to take a look at Wings at the Speed of Sound. Um, yet another part of the Paul McCartney Archive Collection. This is the two disc edition. Um, I don't remember, was there a single disc edition of this? I think they stopped doing those now. Um, anyway, this is the, uh, the album and, oh yeah, there was, there is, but it's, uh, uh, part of a different series, not the archive collection. Um, there is a version of this that, uh, doesn't have the strip and it's just a single disc and it's, uh, digi sleeve. Um, uh, it's, it's, um, it's odd that, uh, I sometimes I read that the album title is at the speed of sound but it's actually wings at the speed of sound and the spine says that and um, the back cover is almost the same as the, the original release but the the pictures are actually different and um, I got this second hand uh, quite cheap I think under twenty dollars and the problem is I didn't get this uh, brand new or sealed so I didn't I don't have the sticker with a track list on it but uh, the track list is, is inside so I think and I think this is part of the uh, the gatefold you know when you open it it's sort of uh, inviting you to go in take a look a closer look that's the band right there and there you go the artist is Humphrey Ocean don't know the person but this is a very nice Oh, that's a nice joke right there. Speed of Sound is the name of a, a venue. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, going to take a look at the discs first. So the discs, well, that's a bonus disc right there. So you can see there's a, that famous artwork of... I didn't realize for a long time that this was actually a full-size marquee right here. You know, I thought it was just some, you know, sort of boring... Um, uh, typography-based uh, album cover, but it's not. It's actually it's an actual photo. Um, I'm gonna take a look at one of the discs. Uh, it's these later um, archive editions are way too tight. Um, the paper, uh, the price paper sleeve isn't uh, part of the packaging. It's um, I, I buy I, I buy my sleeves separately because sometimes these things have glue residue inside. So and they sometimes stick underneath the disc. So it usually helps to have these things so that you know your sleeve sleeve um, stays protected and um, this is reminiscent of the discs that are on other editions in the series like M McCartney the first um, solo album it's glossy and then matte and then yeah the designs right here and the the circle matches the it's I don't think it's trying to uh, imitate the you know imitate a vinyl release but it has the same effect where the die cut part is displays the entire label so there it is the definitely different from the um albums like uh you know the 2009 beatles for masters and i like how the spines are consistent you, you put them together on the on a shelf and they have a very consistent look so yep here's the booklet that's the design that's on the on the disc and i think these this was also used as a cover for uh the singles i believe or the promotional posters one one or both i don't know so that's the track list and one of my favorite things about the the bonus disc is that john bonham plays on beware my love and this is this is obviously a live demo because of, if you listen to the song Paul is dictating which parts are the intro, which ones are the chorus, the repeat intro, and wow, um, John Bonham is just, you can, you can tell it's John Bonham, you know, first few bars. And the, um, also one of my favorites from the albums, Must Do Something About It, by, who uh, was sung by Joe English. There, uh, the original version is here, but, and uh, the story goes, and it's, I'm not 100%, don't quote me on this, but the original version was that uh, they were, uh, Paul heard uh, Joe English uh, singing the song. It's like, 
he was like, ah, okay, that sounded better than I did. Okay, so they, they sort of made it the de facto um, album version right there. And uh, yeah, a lot of hits here. I'll see love songs, Warm and Beautiful, Let Him In, and the um, other version of uh, Beware My Love. But um, yeah, th th these had a lot of um, a lot of parts that were added to the 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 demo. You know, the halftime reggae-ish groove that was yeah. Anyway, so lyrics. And this is the um, Wings lineup that uh, eventually were featured in Rock Show, the Blu-ray. And that was really good. I mean, um, I'm actually a fan of Joe English just from watching that video. And <laughs> um, I think he works for uh, a church group now. I don't know. But man, that, that guy, he, his talent, you know, he's awesome. But then again, you don't get to... Uh, play in some a touring a heavily touring band like this and still you know put that smile that presence on stage if you're not really good so yeah kudos to him um danny lane is pretty much active right now on facebook he um he still does uh shows yeah i mean maybe, you know one of my one of my hopes is that he gets to play in a paul mccartney show um you know maybe a couple of song wings songs that would be awesome. I mean, even if I probably won't be there to watch it, you know. And of course, you've got the credits. I um, they sort of bolstered their uh, setup right here with uh, with the horn section, which really played brilliantly. Uh, yeah, they br they were brilliant in songs like um, "Silly Love Songs." Well, anyway, this is well. This has been "Wings at the Speed of Sound." Apologies if the thing is a bit shaky. It's just that we are having some um, remodeling <laughs> done downstairs, and I'm at a different part of the house. As you can see, the uh, the light source is coming from here. See, instead of coming from from there, instead of from there. But anyway, yeah, um, ha do hang around. We I will have a lot more of uh, these videos in the coming weeks. So uh, till then, be good.